Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, I'm passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now guys, it's the start of a new month, which must mean one thing, Korean skincare haul time. Every month I love, love, love to get my hands on some new Korean skincare and share it with you guys. I know how much you guys love, love, love your Korean skincare and hopefully in these videos I bring you something a little bit new. I try some new products that you might not have heard of and I might be able to bring something new to the Korean skincare conversation. I try every month to hone it down on one specific area. So last month I did my favorite Korean SPFs, which I'll leave a link to that video up there if you missed that one. The month before, I think we did sheet masks. As I'm trying to make it a little bit like it's not all just a rough and tumble, you know, random selection of items. And today I thought it'd be really good to focus down on sensitive skin. I think Korea really have it nailed when it comes to sensitive skin, cooling and soothing ingredients and making sure that none of their products are too aggressive on the skin. So it's a really great place to look if you have sensitive skin or maybe you're just looking for some products to calm the skin down if you've got a little bit of an acne flare up or something. So all these products are gonna be fantastic at calming and soothing the skin as well as providing some fantastic actives. I, every month, um, Star Vena reach out to me and say, would you like to pick a few items from our website to share with your um, channel and your subscribers? And I'm always like, yes, I love, love, love a good trolley dash and putting some great items in my cart to make sure I can share them with you guys. So thank you to Style Vanna who have um, shared and um, sent me all of these items to share with you, which I'll leave a link below. Some of them have been ding, 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 total hits. Some of them mm, I'm not as sold on. So we'll come on to each review as we go along. First off, I want to share with you a product which I think everybody's gonna love and which you guys have been saying to me for months please try please try please review and i've wanted to but i've never been able to get my hands on it because it's out of stock well i have and that is the centella green level buffet serum i love 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 the purito and um, sunscreens where i did a review on them recently which i'll leave a link to up there and said i just think some of their formulations are gorgeous this, a lot of people said, is a great dupe for the ordinary um, buffet in that it's got a beautiful mix of peptides in here, but it's also got Centella Asiatica, which is super calming for the skin. Um, and so it's just a really, really nice formulated product. So this goes on the skin, much more of a gel-like consistency than maybe you expect from a serum. Um, if you can see that, it says serum, it doesn't move on the hand. So people say serum, which gives a very specific, in my mind, idea about what the texture is going to be like. This is a gel more than a serum, I would say. Um, smells divine. And I've been using this for the past, I was gonna say um, three weeks. And I've noticed a definite calming and cooling of the skin. It's a great peptide blend. Peptides are fantastic at brightening the skin, hydrating, but also triggering the production of collagen, which gives our skin that firmness, elasticity, and snapback. So I think it's a beautiful, beautiful product. The only thing I'm gonna say that makes this an eight out of 10 rather than a 10 out of 10 is that it contains lavender oil extract. I don't mind that. It gives a very nice, light fragrance to the product, which makes it a pleasure to use, but that can be sensitizing and triggering for a lot of people. So there is an unscented version of this, um, and I'd probably recommend you check that out if you don't mind, um, if you don't want lavender oil in your life, check that one out. I'm actually happy with this, and I'm gonna continue using it. When I come, I'm definitely gonna repurchase it. I probably will look at the unscented version. Now, Keeping with the Centella Asiatica theme, beautiful, calming botanical, I got this, which is the iUnique. I really, really always try not to buy from this line because I can never pronounce the name. And yet it's a beautiful skincare line, so it keeps drawing me back. I think it's iUnique. Um, anyway, this is their Centella Calming Gel Cream. 70% um, Centella Asiatica and 10% tea tree. Tea tree is great if you've got acne and um, flare up of um, breakouts, but it's also super therapeutic and calming. And I think a lot of people forget to use it for that. What drew me to this product is the packaging. It's got sort of like a, almost like a medical sort of dispensary vibe to it. And it's got the percentages on there and um, really high concentrations of the active ingredients you're looking for, which I just think is a really, really nice touch. And I do like to know the concentrations of what I'm putting on my skin. So this is a fantastic option. 
One thing I will caution about this product is it's so hard to get into. They've got like a tamper-proof seal, which honestly, even Bletchley Park couldn't crack their way into this. I have no idea how um, they've made it so tamper-proof. I had to like machete my way in. So I will just call out that on the packaging. Can be a little bit hard to get into, but once you are, it is gorgeous. So this product claims on the front to be a brightening and wrinkle care double functional cosmetic. I think sometimes with the Korean skincares, um, some of the advertising and the wording gets lost in translation a little bit. For me, this isn't gonna do anything for brightening and it's not really gonna do anything for um, anti-wrinkle. Where the benefit of this is as a great moisturizer, bringing some hydration to the skin and as calming and soothing for sensitive skin and irritated skin. So I think maybe some of the packaging could be a little bit clearer. However, if you read on the side of it, it says this lighter moisturizing gel cream can um, help to calm sensitive skin, reduce blemishes and relieve any irritation with centella asiatica leaf water and tea tree for, um, reviving skin stresses. So I think that is much more accurate description of what this product is going to do. I loved using this. It is such a nice formulation. There you go. It goes on like a gel cream. You put it onto the skin and it is instant hydration. I'd actually recommend you leave this in the fridge because it'll be so calming and so soothing if you leave it in the fridge. And as soon as you put it on the skin, constrict those ventricles, remove any puffiness and inflammation in the skin and just really bring back that hydration and nourishment. I love this product and I'm going to keep using it for those days where my skin does feel a little bit dry, maybe a little bit sensitive. It also would work really well after an exfoliation. So if you are somebody who likes to exfoliate, and everybody should, um, but find that your skin is a little bit red, a little bit sensitive afterwards, and maybe you don't want to put too many ingredients in your skincare routine after an exfoliation, this would be a really good option for you to calm and soothe the skin. So I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Would be a 10 out of 10 if the packaging was a little bit clearer. Um, but actually, if you delve into the ingredients, you know you're getting a great hydrating and soothing product. Now, the next product I tried was this, which is the Isntree Green Tea Fresh toner. Now the reason I tried this is um, it's been recommended by quite a few of the um, content creators here on YouTube and some of them that I really respect and look up to. So I was super, super interested to try this product. I love green tea. It's a powerful antioxidant. It's calming. It's soothing to the skin. It can also help if you have um, blemish prone skin, reducing some of the redness and the irritation that comes with that. So naturally making them look less visible. I'm going through a little bit of a breakout at the moment. So I thought it'd be a great time to try the product and see if it did do all of that. A little goes a long way with this product, but it is of a consistency, a very watery consistency. So I don't think you could apply this with your fingertips alone. I think a cotton round would be more suitable. Um, I'm trying to cut right down on the amount of cotton rounds I use, you know, for the environment and everything. And so I will leave a link below, um, as I'll leave a link to all of these products, but I'll leave a link below to my favorite reusable cotton rounds because I did start using this with those just because it's easier to apply. If it goes onto the skin, as, as you can see, it's a dark brownish. I don't know if that's coming up on the camera there. It's a dark brownish color. No scent at all, which I like, um, and that's absolutely fine. I mean, the color is natural, so I have no issue with that. It doesn't stain the skin or anything. It disappears like that. I really, really enjoyed this product. I'm not a huge fan of toners. I think it's an optional step in your routine rather than a must have. But if you have sensitive skin or dry skin, it's a really great step of getting some extra hydration in your routine and just calming the skin before you then put any other products on it. I think this is a great option for anyone who has sensitive skin, um, but also for blemish prone, because it's not gonna clog the skin or make the blemishes worse. It will also um, help to just reduce that redness and calm and soothe them before you then get your next steps in your skincare going. So I will be using this bottle up and I'm intrigued. I really want to include more green tea in my routine because it's antioxidant potential. And so I'm gonna try a few other products, but I can really see myself repurchasing this. Super, super impressed. There's no, real scent of the product, which I like because I don't like anything that smells. When a product says that it's on fragrance, great. But also sometimes it can lead to a bit of an off-putting or maybe chemically smell. None of that with that. It's also got evening primrose in here, which is another amazing calming um, botanical. So just all around a fantastic, fantastic product. Um, Cruelty-free, 
So that's another tick in the book. And I would really recommend, if you're looking for a hydrating and calming toner, I'd really recommend you put one of these on order and try it out because for me, it did all of that and was just a really nice, affordable product. Now, when it comes to sensitive skin, it can be really difficult to get the right face mask going. I normally like to apply um, my masks with um, in a pot that you can just apply to your skin. I tend not to use sheet masks because I do find them to be a little bit wasteful. You know, you do create waste. However, the effectiveness of a sheet mask is so much greater than a treatment mask that doesn't involve that sheet covering the skin. That's because it warms up the skin and it brings, ensures that close contact with the product to the skin. And just overall is a really nice experience. So I am, I do use sheet masks as and when I feel my skin needs it. It can be really difficult to find a brightening sheet mask, which is applicable for people with sensitive skin. That's because they tend to go for the super high concentrations, which can just aggravate any inflammation that's already in the skin. So I put one of these in orders, which is the Brightening Bursting Energy Frida Mask. I love the packaging for a start. I thought Christmas coming, the holidays, this could be a really nice like stocking filler for somebody and a really nice little pick me up as we come into that Christmas season. So I really, really like the look of the product. What drew me to this is it's got, it says it's got 46% vitamin C. It has, it's actually got a citrus peel extract in there, which is where they derive their vitamin C. That's going to be much more gentle than a pure form L-ascorbic acid, for example. And it's also got 2% niacinamide. Niacinamide in higher concentrations can be a little bit irritating but at a two percent concentration super therapeutic is going to calm and soothe the skin so i thought this was a really interesting mask and um, option for people who have sensitive skin to be able to incorporate vitamin c and niacinamide in a routine but safely and not triggering too much inflammation redness or sensitivity i ordered a couple of these so i could try them because nobody wants me showing like a ratchet used sheet mask on camera i loved them i didn't get too much of a tingling so it's not a really intense product but again that's a good thing if you have sensitive skin and i found this to be really really lovely to use it left my skin feeling hydrated soothed calmed yet i did notice a definite brightening so i would say if you are someone who is looking for a sheet mask that's going to give a light brightening to the skin and some hydration at the same time this is a really really good option they're super affordable i think it's like two pounds here in the uk which is a great price point for a sheet mask so i've left a link um, below i put a couple on order and try them because i think using this twice a week will give you that maximum glow with the minimum irritation and side effects so a really really nice option i also put this on order which was the galaxy red peel off mask that's because peel off masks are people love them people love that experience of peel. there's something super satisfying about peeling something off the skin i get that and um, i tried this it has um, rosehip oil in which i'm a huge huge fan of i think it's great for hydrating and calming at the same time vitamin a which is retinol so that's anti-aging but in a mask will be much more um forgiving and less sensitizing than a pure form serum for example and i just thought i'll give it a go i love love this mask but it's not in any way appropriate for people with sensitive skin it was i got a lovely tingle from it and it definitely awoke my skin and gave me some really nice firmness qualities to it but this isn't for anyone with sensitive skin a lovely mask if you like a peel off mask and i tend to wash them off this is total cheating i um let it dry and then i wash it off the skin because i do find that peeling actually can pull at the skin which i'm not a huge fan of so i just wash it off which means you're not getting that peeling but you're still getting all the benefits of having it on your skin so i washed this off and i definitely noticed a really nice benefit great great mask option for anybody that is looking for a really effective treatment mask but not applicable for people with sensitive skin i don't feel now i saved the best till last i put this on order because everybody said how amazing it was and i thought well, I, well i've got to try it and that is the keep cool soothe bamboo sun essence this is the gift set you can buy the toner and um, the spf separately this is the gift set the reason i put this on order is because look how cute that is for christmas like somebody who loves an spf loves some korean skincare that is a proper gorgeous stocking filler tree present whatever it is just amazing and so i popped it on order and i wasn't disappointed so the standalone um sun essence is this again just beautiful on its own and um, without having the set really nice product this is spf 50 pa plus 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 which is really good high strength protection and why i thought this was interesting is it isn't just an spf but it's an essence 
and an SPF together. So you get some really great benefits in here. You've got seven different types of hyaluronic acid for keeping the skin hydrated. You've got Centella Asiatica, which is that calming um, ingredient as well. You've got some great botanical extracts and you've got a small quantity of niacinamide, again, to calm and soothe the skin. Overall, a beautiful formulation. I love the packaging. It's got a really nice, I don't even know if you can see that, but a great applicator. It looks expensive and yet it's not break the bank pricing and would just make a really nice gift. I have been using this um, here in the UK, it's winter. So I've been using this on a morning because um, still need to protect your skin even in those winter months. And it went on like a dream. The scent is barely noticeable. There's no artificial fragrance in here, but um, it doesn't have a chemically um, scent to it. Just a really, really nice product. It goes on, I'd say, with a dewy. It's not quite a matte finish, but it's not super glossy either. I'd say it's a lightly dewy yet hydrating. You get so much hydration from this product. I think this could be a real great find for anyone with dry skin because um, it's just going to add that hydration and that essence quality to your sun care. And um, I have oily skin and still I found when I use this by like midday if I use the wrong SPF I'm greasy and um, I start to notice it in my T-zone and I didn't with this product. So I do think it's also fine for people with um, oily skin but I think this comes into its own if you have um, dry skin. Absolutely gorgeous. In the set you also get the um, soothing toner this gorgeous for calming and soothing the skin um, it's hard to tell whether I prefer this or the green tea refresh toner it's 50 50 I like them both both of them super calming super hydrating and I just think as a gift set this is a really, really nice option. So, you know, buy it alone, buy it as the gift set, the choice is yours, but I loved, loved this product. Um, I think I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna put another couple on order because I want some in stock for summer when I really want a robust, effective SPF, but one that doesn't leave me feeling heavy or weighed down. This is a really, really good option. So yeah, definitely gonna repurchase, I'd love it. So there you are guys, I've got a mixture of masks, we've got some serums, we've got some leave-on treatments, I've got loads of great stuff for sensitive skin overall i think if you want to buy one if you have sensitive skin and you want one product that's going to be like a standout skin savior i think it's this centella calming cream after an exfoliation this will just reset the skin take out any redness and calm and soothe i absolutely love that i also think it'd be really good on and um, i actually caught my hand when i was pulling something out of the oven and i caught my hand and just like burn it slightly put this on and it just took away that stinging and that pain straight away so that was just an added benefit for that which i loved i definitely think the keep car um, keep cool essence is a great great purchase and i'm really intrigued to keep using this green tea toner I realise why so many people online say this is amazing. I fell in love with it on the first use and I want to see over like a couple of months if I start to see some really great added hydration to my skin because I think this is a product which works best cumulatively if you keep using it day in day out. So I'm definitely going to keep trying that. And of course, if you are interested in a sheet mask and have sensitive skin, so I don't know which one to go for, this will be a really good option. For me, I think I want something a little bit stronger when it comes to my vitamin C. But if you have sensitive skin or find that vitamin C can be a bit triggering for your skin type, this will be your holy grail. So there you are, guys. A quick whistle-stop tour of my new Korean skincare finds. Leave me a comment below if you're thinking of buying any of these or any of them pique your fancy. Have you tried any? Share your experience because I do think on this channel, more than just my opinion, this is a conversation. So leave me a comment below if you've tried these and what your thoughts and feelings were. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.